It's a fact of science often seen and with confidence asserted that energy cannot be destroyed, it can only be converted. Nuclear energy can be freed from matter in the sun when hydrogen atoms fuse together, making helium. This energy is converted into light which then is hurled out into the void of space to illuminate our world. The leaves of plants catch sunlight and the energy of it is made into chemical energy by photosynthesis. This can become heat energy in another transformation when the fuel that forms from fossil plants is burned in a car or power station. Fuel combustion in a car makes the engine's locomotion as the heat produced gets turned into the kinetic energy of motion. The engine charges up the battery that's connected to the wires which carry the electric energy that in the headlights it requires. Your seatbelt stretches slightly when a car is slowing down from rushing to switch kinetic to elastic potential energy and so stop your ribs from crushing. But the lampposts that the car has hit when they raise it up so tall stored gravitational potential energy that becomes the energy of the motion of its fall. Some of the kinetic energy of the lamppost's movement to the ground is converted in an almighty crash into the energy of sound. Sometimes we talk of energy loss, but we don't mean it's destroyed. We just mean some has uselessly been turned to heat or noise. So in any closed system, this principle is observed. No matter what the form it takes, the energy is conserved. 